In this video, we're going to talk about saved reports. So once I have saved a report from other areas of QTest Insights, I can go to any of my recent saved reports or click on the area that says Manage. And in my saved reports, this will allow me to revisit some of the reports that I have previously built out. So if I find a report that I've been working on, at the very bottom will show you your personal save reports, and at the top it will show reports that are being shared with other members of the team. So at the very bottom, if I go to my personal save reports, I can click on the little blue square on the left side, and this will allow me to run the report again and revisit the information that I previously stored. The great part about running the report is you will always get the up-to-date information from the project. The other things that you can do from the saved reports area is to be able to schedule reports. So if I decide that I want to email these reports out to myself or the team, I can title the report. Oh, you know what? Let me do this again. Because that shows someone's email and I don't want to show that. Um, the other thing that you can do from the shared reports area is to schedule reports being sent out. So when you schedule the report, you can title the report. You can add the emails to either yourself or multiple emails in here and the format in which you would like to send the report. If you'd like to have this sent once, you can choose to do that or you can repeat having the report sent every couple minutes, every hour, every day, every week, every month, as often as you would like to get reports and how excited you are about the reports that you get emailed. So you can schedule this to be sent, and then if you need to change a scheduled report or take it, take it off completely, you can come back into the Save Reports tab and change the schedule that you have. The other thing that you can do is create embedded script. So if you're using something like a Confluence page or a page where you can insert embedded script, then you can insert the script for the report into those pages. You can also rename the report and delete the report completely. That is all for our saved reports area. If you have any other questions or interest in our QTest Insights, look out for additional videos as well as information from support.tricentis.com, which will give you articles on QTest Insights.